Hey everybody, it's Doc Green, the Road Scholar, coming at you today. Got a good little uh, news for everybody out there. A lot of you know that I've been on this diet and everything, trying to lose weight because I almost lost my license over it. Well, in the last three weeks, I have dropped 14 pounds. I still have another six pounds, but the doctor says I can actually start doing cardio work or anything work out. But uh, I'm going to cheat because I just got too much energy built up. So some of you guys have asked how I'm actually losing this weight and everything. What am I actually doing? And a lot of you guys have given, sent the great suggestion. I'm gonna try different diets to keep my body so it doesn't get used to one and everything, but I'll be getting on the other diets and stuff. But the last three weeks I've been doing pretty much all vegan. And so far, again, I've lost uh, 14 pounds in three weeks. So yay me, that's good news. And some of you guys have been asking, well, how are you doing it? This, that, what, what exercise are you doing? I haven't really been exercising. I had to start exercising today. Well, I did a few push-ups and steps the other day, but I just started a routine today. Um, most all of it has been gone from dieting alone. My diet, that's all I changed. I changed my diet and uh, lost all this weight. So uh, a lot of guys are going, well, you know, it's hard for us as truck drivers to go out here and diet, you know, especially the fast foods and our limited selections of food. I mean, yeah, some place got salads and this and that and everything. So I had to go to Walmart, that's what I did, and I bought a lot of uh, frozen vegetables because a lot of people go, well, fresh is better than frozen. True, but we're on trucks. So I, you know, I got my little freezer, my refrigerator thing and everything. So I bought some vegetables and stuff, put them in there, and uh, switched to much of, pretty much a pure vegan diet. I gave up all the Coke, sodas, everything like that, you know, anything with sugar in it, any process. I haven't had any processed food, no chips, no bread, anything that's processed, I have not been eating for the last three weeks. And I found out the doctor said I had to eat like 1,850 calories a day in order to lose 100 pounds in a year. Uh, unfortunately, I have not been able to eat 1,850 calories a day. When you're doing all vegetables, that's a lot of vegetables. For instance, I would have to do, a, one serving of Brussels sprouts only has 35 calories. So I would literally have to do like 80 servings of it in order to get 1,800, you know, roughly 80 servings of it to get 1,800 calories. And you can't do that. You know, vegetable, it's very hard with vegetables. Now, fruits are a lot more calories, but I haven't really been eating a whole lot of fruit because uh, it's got a lot of sugar in it, too. So, I've basically been, man, I, dude, I've had some great, great dishes, too. Like, I put mushrooms and garlic cloves together. A serving of mushrooms, a quarter cup of mushrooms is only five calories. And then I'll throw in a garlic clove in there with it. That's another five calories for one garlic clove. And uh, I eat, you know, like I'll, I'll post on my uh, Facebook page, you know, some of the meals I've been eating and everything, they were really great tasting meals. I've been mixing uh, grilled bell peppers. I went and bought a frozen package of marinated bell pepper and uh, zucchini. And I mixed that in with the mushrooms and I put in some green beans with it and some garlic cloves, put some seasonings on it and different types of seasonings to get a better flavor. And guys, it has been working great. So I can tell you, yes, the, the, I'm not, don't get me wrong, I'm not some vegan guru hippie type guy that's gonna give up meat for the rest of his life. But uh, I will be definitely cutting down even if I go back to eating meats, I'm not gonna be eating it at every meal. Uh, I'm not gonna be eating anything like I was before. I mean, that that scared the heck out of me. I'm not gonna lie to you, that, that, that doctor's gonna scare me to death. Because uh, it could have been my death. So anyway, I will be bringing meats and stuff back in there in a few months, you know, when I get down to good weight and everything, or, you know, I may switch to the keto diet, you know, here in a couple of months, this diet starts slowing down because your body gets used to whatever kind of diet you're on and starts slowing down your weight loss. So I'm gonna switch in and out different diets as I go. But I just wanna let you guys know, it is working for me. Uh, a lot of the things, some of you guys have been asking me, like, what am I drinking? I was drinking a lot of V8 juice at the first week, but then I realized the amount of sodium in the V8 juice is as high. And you get the low sodiums and no sodiums and everything like that, they just don't taste the same to me. So uh, I did start cutting down on that. I, I, I drink water. I see, I did a video on here about infused water where I put like a lemon, couple lemon slices, a couple lime slices, a mint leaf or two, and some water, shake it up, and you know, certain sense of flavor around really good really i mean i have no craving for sodas i'll be honest i have none which that's crazy uh my energy level is through the roof i mean it's, it is hard for me to sit still i mean i gotta go out and do some kind of exercise calisthenics or something you know to to burn off some of this energy i am sleeping all night long guys i have not done that since i was in high school ever since i joined the army i've been averaging about four to five hours sleep a night i am now sleeping eight nine ten hours at a time 
the other day I overslept 12 hours. I have never done that. Uh, that was only one time. Usually I sleep about eight hours, nine hours, not now, for about the last week and a half. But it feels great. I'm waking up, I'm refreshed. I drive all day, I'm alert. I know what's going on around me constantly. It is. It has just been awesome. So, anyway, that's how I'm giving an update for. Let y'all know that yes, I'm feeling much better. I am lost 14 pounds. I still have a long way to go, so I'm going to be continuing to do that. Uh, I'm going to post this video on both my um, Road Scholar Trucking page and my Road Scholar Trucking Health and Wellness page. Yes, I did start a new page, uh, Road Scholar Trucking Health and Wellness, because. There's so many of us out here, and I hear a lot of drivers talk about, you know, uh, a lot of you drivers know a lot of great diet ideas. It's just hard for us to get it time to do it because of the hours we work and, you know, everything. But we have to make time. That, that's point blank. We have to make time or we're going to end up killing ourselves out here than what was all the work for. So, just to let you guys know, I will be doing more posts on there. So, if you want to follow the diet, I'm also going to be videotaping like when I go out and work out and stuff. Um, you're not going to be able to get the whole video on it because I'm only doing like 10, 15 minute videos. I'm not going to put a, you know, show you a 30 minute workout of me just doing whatever I'm doing out here. But I will put on air posts what exercises I'm doing, what my diet is, what types of food I'm eating and stuff. It's hard for me to do it all the time, every day. So, I'm probably going to do two or three videos a week about it. But the reason I can't do it every day is our time. You know, I don't have time to make the video. I got to edit the video, bring in pictures and stuff of supplements and everything. But I will be doing more videos. I'll also be doing videos on my channel about supplements, about other types of healthy eating, um, vitamins. Why I'm going to be doing explanations of why vitamins and how calories work and how why supplements don't work for some people because they're not eating the right types of food. So anyway, there'll be other videos about that on the other channel, Road Scholar Trucking Health and Wellness. This one would be mostly, I put, you know, one update a week on this one about uh, how my health is doing because I have a lot of friends on here to watch every guy and I want to thank you guys again for all your suggestions and the help that y'all have given me. Uh, one of the truck drivers told me about eating chickpeas to add protein to my diet because I'm on the vegan thing and I appreciate that tip. Uh, so, Anyway, this video is just kind of an update. Yes, things are going great on that. And I will be doing another video here in a few minutes about the Dart Lease, showing you how much money I got paid this week, the trips I did and everything. But that'll be on a different video because I got to get different titles up there because some people don't care about my diet and other people don't care about the Dart Lease. Um, to some of my friends who are out in the oil fields, hey, someone asked me some questions about how certain companies are out there. Guys, I don't know every company out there because they come and go like banshees i mean the the, the, the ripoff artists change they'll go out of business change their name put it their wives names and come right back into business do the same thing over again so i really don't know i'll get in contact with some of my friends that are out there and maybe when i'm home for thanksgiving break i'll go out and talk to some of the drivers and find out how everything's going you know because i live in texas so it's not that hard for me to do i will try to do that uh, my wife may have a honey do this for me i don't know but i will try to get some more information on that stuff and everything um but i just you know I'll be posting those on here also. Uh, guys that are interested in joining the Dart, I'll do that on the next video or ask questions about the Dart lease, I'll put that on my next video. Uh, some of you guys want to know questions about some other companies. I'm trying to get with more companies to have them open up to me. It's like the recruiters don't really want to talk to me unless I go to, they agree to go to work for them and I'm not doing that because I love the company I'm with. But I just, I'll try to get as much information I can on some of these other companies out here. The, the, the pros, the cons, things like that. So anyway guys, Thank you so much for all your help. Uh, thank you for your support while I've been on this diet and everything. I passed the craving point, I guess, because I, I did try to eat a part of a hamburger the other day. I was driving, and I just did something real fast. I went in and I bought a burger, and I ate like half of it and got sick everywhere. My stomach is not used to the grease now or anything, so I can honestly say my body has adapted to this vegetable and healthy living a lot quicker than I thought it would. I have no cra I didn't want to eat a burger. I just didn't want to take the time to have to sit back and prepare anything in my truck. So now I'm at 34 hours. I can bought some of those pre-prepared dishes so I can get everything ready for the week in those. And that's going to help out a lot too. So anyway, guys, thanks a lot uh, for joining me on this channel. If you have it, guys, listen, and I mean this, I want to talk about things you want to know about. So if you want to know about something, please ask below and I'll try to do a video as quick as I can about it. Please hit subscribe on here if you want to know more about the dark leaves or about the, I'm sorry, about the health of wellness. Uh, you can go to my other channel. I'll leave a link down below. And uh, if you want to know more about 
just life in general as a truck driver, some of you new guys that are getting into trucking and everything, subscribe to the channel. You know, I, I come out with as much information as I can. Um, it's, I'm not on a regular schedule. I'm a real truck driver. I'm not some guy in the studio making videos and trying to live off a YouTube paycheck. I am a real truck driver out here every day, uh, driving in these high winds. Mainly, I really pick it up here in the Midwest here the last couple of weeks. And the weather's changing, so, you know, I'm going to be doing more safety videos, things like that. If you wanted to know more about that information, just hit subscribe. Uh, go to the comment section and ask. You know, hit follow. Uh, see how it goes. See if I'm giving you information. If you don't like the information I'm giving, you disagree with it, by all means, please put comments below. Because I don't know everything out here. You know, I mean, you listen to us truck drivers have been out here for 20 years. Do we know a lot? Yes. Do we know everything? No. And technology is completely changing the system all the time. So please join my network, subscribe to my channel, comment below, let the other drivers know what you're going through, and uh, I hope to see you out on the road. By the way, guys, if you ever see a maroon dark truck and a bald head truck driver with a camouflage headset, give me a honk. You know, what's up, Road Scholar? Let me know you see me out here. I am going to try to get my truck wrapped here in a, probably another few months, you know, with the Road Scholar logo on it and everything, which we're still working on getting that out to you. Um, be sure to tune into the next video about the dark piece because that is, we got the third, uh, or I'll be mentioning who won the second backpack and we'll be putting the third backpack, Adidas, brand new Adidas backpack up and getting those uh, sent out. Uh, Ken Riggins, I want to apologize to you because I had packed up your backpack. We had it ready to ship and everything. I told my wife to take it and literally I put it in the wrong spot and she didn't know where it was and everything. So we're going to get your backpack out to you. I apologize for that. It will be coming. Uh, the second one, I'll be looking here in a few minutes to try to figure out who's won it. And the third one will be coming this next week. Then comes the beanie caps. Guys, I probably won't give away two beanie caps because it's looking like I'm going to need one for this winter weather. <laughs> Guys, y'all have a good one. Thank you very much for tuning in.